Hello, welcome back. In our previous video, we have created this noise map and then use that noise to scatter some points. In case if you have missed the video, you can go back and watch. There is a link in the description. Let's move on to today's topic, which is scatter by normals. I have a test object here. I'll show you where this technique could be useful first. So when you want to create something like this, like snow, which is falling only on the top of the object, it's not that much in the sides. So when you want to recreate something like this, this technique could be really useful. Let's see how to recreate that. So let's say this is the object you want to scatter. Okay. If you drop a scatter and see how it looks, it's going to be all over. But there is an easy way to achieve that effect. Let's drop a group and connect it here. Also, let's subdivide this so that we have some divisions to work with. Okay, I think that's enough. In the group shop, let's delete this and make it more cleaner. So, yeah, in this group shop, disable this enable base group everything is disabled now let's rename this to selected or something you could keep it to points or primitives it's up to you here i'm just leaving it to primitives and here is what we need keep by normals enable this once you enable it will show something like this if you adjust the spread angle and you adjust the direction since we want it from top we are going to use the y direction and adjust the spread angle as you can see it's it's selecting only the top faces and then we can use this selection to create a group let's say we use attribute adjust sorry attribute create so there is a lot of multiple different ways to create attribute like how we created in previous videos we can also create using this attribute create shop here we can just name it to density and set the value this is the value of the attribute you can set this to one and currently it's setting the value to one everywhere but we are interested only in the in this selected faces so what we can do is just select this selected group here so it will set the attribute to one in this area and then you can use an attribute blur to smooth this out so set this to density and increase the blur iteration so that you have smoother fall off now we can go ahead and scatter and enable the density attribute yeah here we go we have scattered only on the top of the object that's it but if you want to see how we can make a snow out of it just stick to the video for a few more minutes i'll quickly show you Let's convert the points to VDB, VDB from points, yeah, from particles. Let's connect this and display this. So if you are in wireframe mode, you will see something like this. Press W to get back to the solid mode. And then here you can adjust the particle radius and also the voxel size. Let's decrease. The voxel size so you can see there is some bunch of points with some radius to it so now let's reduce the radius even more Go even more okay i think that's enough let's turn off the relax iteration and increase the count a little bit yeah as you can see we quickly created some snow on top of this object let's convert this into polygons convert vdb 
converted this into polygon yeah that's it so in case if you don't want these kind of separated objects you can play around with this uh, with this attribute blur and also you can increase the p scale a little bit to make it more even this is the basic way to scatter on top of the object there are multiple ways but i'm just showing you the simplest way so that's it for this video learning little tricks every day like this is one of the easiest way to learn houdini if you wish to learn more in easy way hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as i publish hope you find this useful if you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics you can always let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching have fun